Hey y'all, it's Christina with Tina Resells. I am a part-time reseller on both Poshmark and eBay. I also consign some items into the Real Real. Today I am doing another Thread Up Rescue box unboxing. I was able to get another designer box, which is one of my favorite ones to do through Thread Up. Fingers crossed if it's good. Um, so hopefully there'll be some items that we can send into the Real Real. Anyways, this one I ordered pretty recently. I'll have to look at the receipt and see when that was. It came to us from Phoenix. So let's see what I got. If you're not familiar, the designer boxes contain seven items and the box is $140 plus tax. Uh, so it comes close to about $150 um, for the box. <clears throat> okay, I'll give you a peek tissue. So if you enjoy unboxings or you're a reseller, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. All right, there is a peek off the top. I already see something I'm excited about, so I'm going to go for that item first. Looks like we've got a pair of sunglasses by Valentino. Show you guys the case. The case is obviously damaged. The whole side is missing. Um, that's okay though. Let's pull these out here. Oh, the side of the case is actually still inside of here. How weird. Okay. Anyway, it does have a cloth which has the Valentino logo on it. And here are the sunglasses. So, um, it looks like they're different, kind of a different shade of brown. Um, I don't know if you can tell because of my light, but it kind of go, it kind of, the transparency on it kind of changes. There's the Valentino marking. <clears throat> so it looks like it's got some little stones here and some of them are missing, if you guys can see that. So there are some missing stones here. This side looks good. And then let me see about the, they are scratched up. They look, they look good. I personally don't mind buying glasses that are somewhat scratched because I'm going to scratch them anyway. <laughs> I'm not very good at taking care of my glasses. So anyways, those are the Valentino sunglasses. I'm happy about that. I've sold some um, sunglasses recently, so hopefully people are still on the hunt. The next item that is in the box is a pair of Tods. These are like a suede wedge. They have kind of this little sporty um, like sole, and there's not really much wear. So that's definitely, they're in good shape. It says made in Italy on the, I mean, even the sticker is still intact. So that's good. Let's see if we can find the size. These are a size 38. Right there. And the suede overall looks really good. It's kind of got this little rubber toe, which that helps protect the suede. And then the wedge is kind of like a patent. So those are, those are nice. We'll have to see how much those go for, but they're in good shape. Okay, next item. Let's see if I can, oh, here we go. Narcisco Rodriguez, it says made in Italy. I'm assuming this is like a jacket of some sort. Yeah. Like a zip jacket with zip sleeves. The seaming in the back is really pretty. Blue. I've actually never sold this brand before, so I'm not quite sure how it'll comp out. It does look pretty small, so let's see if I can find a size. Uh -oh, I'm having trouble with the zipper. Let's try again. There we go. Let's see. 
Here we go. It is a size six. So like I said, I've never sold this brand before, so I'm not sure how that'll comp out. I'll have to, to look that up. Okay, next item. Oh, I've never sold this brand either. This is kind of exciting. Okay, it looks like we've got Egal Azarel. I'm probably not pronouncing that correct. I am not familiar with this brand. Kind of a lightweight, cropped, somewhat cropped tea. It's, um, the material's really nice. It's got kind of this different texture here across. Um, and it says a one, so I'm not sure how they do their sizing. But I would imagine that means maybe like a size small. There is some transfer steaming on the back here. Y'all can see that. So I will have to look that one up also. That is kind of the fun part. Well, really about any thread up box, honestly, is getting some different brands, different items. Next, so it looks like, um, let me show you the rest of the box. So we have a bag in the bottom, which is very exciting. So this box, there's um, one, two, four clothing pieces, a pair of sunglasses, and one just one pair of shoes. Sometimes I get a box that's almost all shoes. So only one pair of shoes in this box. Um, we've got a really nice blouse here. This one is uh, Philip Lim, which I love their clothes. They do not resell for much though. I always think their designs are super interesting. Got a very long sleeve, really pretty hardware. And then the back is like blouse material. So the back is like blouse and then it's got this like peep of a blouse and then the front is kind of like a knit. If this were my size, I would totally keep this. I really like it. Um, and this is a size small. So I will be listing that myself for sure. So that does not sell for much on the real real. Okay, next. Okay, this is a Calvin Klein. I already know from the embroidery. Yes. So this is the 205 West 39th New York City. And that is a Calvin Klein piece. Here. This feels like a wool turtleneck. And then um, it's got the embroidery here. So let me look inside, see if we can see what it's made out of. It is an extra small. Um, where's the fabric? Ah, 100% virgin wool. So hopefully there's no holes in it. Um, I don't know that it's really turtleneck weather right now in most places, but I think that that's really cool. That's also one that I'll be listing myself. Okay, how did we already get to the last item? It goes so fast. Okay, last item is a bag, and I know what this is. So this is a Ferragamo bag. Really exciting. Um, there's definitely some issues with the bag as far as stains on the outside of the bag. It almost looks like what the inside of a bag should look like with all of these marks. Um, the bottom looks to be in pretty good shape. And then kind of the same thing with the bag. Maybe it's the like material or the shine, but it's a really pretty kind of bronze metallic material. There's the Ferragamo. The corners are a little beat up, but I like this. I might use this until it sells. Of course, it's also not that really the season for bronze, but the inside's really pretty. Look, look at that. 
and then it's got this interior pocket. Here. It says Ferragamo on it. The zipper. It's great. I don't know. I've sold Ferragamo shoes before, um, but never a bag. So I will have to comp that out and see what they go for. Um, if it were to go for a decent amount, I might consider sending it into the real world, but I probably won't because I actually might want to use this bag until it sells. So, um, cause I really like it. I'm a big bag kind of person. Like I love carrying big bags. So anyways, let's go through the items. I got the Ferragamo bag, which I'm, I'm ha very happy with, even though I don't know what it comps out for. That's one. Got the Todd's wedges for two. The Valentino Sunnies for three, which I also am very happy about. The Calvin Klein um, turtleneck for four. The Philip Lynn blouse, which is really pretty and in great condition, for five. Is that what I said? Yes. Okay. Losing count. All right. And then two brands that I have never sold before. All right. Got this one. For six. And then the Narcisco Rodriguez for seven. So let me know what you guys think. Overall, I think it was a pretty good box. Um, maybe I would have preferred another pair of shoes in here, but I'll take a bag any day of the week. So give me a bag and that's fine with me. And there was no Michael Kors or Dooney and Burke in this one. Anyway, so I consider that a win. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Um, I will be doing the drawing for the um, winner for the fun box on Saturday. So you have till Saturday to enter. If you don't know what I'm talking about, my channel reached 500 subscribers and so I'm giving away a fun box. Um, I listed all the details and the rules in my last video, which I'll link above. And if you want to enter to win, the fun box, then you can go back to that video. You have to subscribe to the channel and then also um, comment on that video. And then upcoming, I am going to be doing a video about the real reel. Some of you guys have had questions about what I choose to consign and how much money I make. Um, I'm doing two different videos, but one of them, I am going to open a designer box and then I am going to take what is in that box and send it into the real real, all of it. Um, and we will see what they accept, what they don't accept, and then how much money I make off that box from just sending it straight into the real real. Uh, so we will get to that. Probably I'll open the box here in the next couple of days and start the process of getting that over to the real real. So hopefully I can get you guys a video on that in the next month or so. Anyways, thanks for joining me. I will see you guys next time. Bye.